Hello, this is Miss G starting part two of our Tinkercad tutorials. Viewing and moving objects. Please make sure you are following along and doing exactly what I am doing in order to receive full credit. Let's begin by clicking create a 3D design. We are going to name this Tinkercad Tutorials 2. Let's start by grabbing our design starter, going to text and symbols, and bringing a view it cube and place it into the center of my work plane. When working in a 3D modeling software, you get to move things in three dimensions, meaning you can move left to right, forward and back, and up and down. So if I left click and hold and move left and right, I am moving along the X axis. If I move forward and backward, I am moving along the Y axis. And if I click this cone, and I move up and down, I am moving on the Z axis. If I accidentally move below my work plane, I can click into this number and type zero to reposition my figure so that it's sitting on the work plane. Remember, you can't print below the work plane. Now, I've shown you to move left, right, forward, back, and up and down using the mouse. You can also use your keyboards. So my left arrow key and my right arrow key move left and right along the x-axis. My down and up move along the y-axis. And if I hold control and up or down, I'll move along the z-axis. Now, as I move along, I'm moving in very small increments. If you want to move larger or smaller increments, you'd have to adjust your snap grid. So in the bottom right-hand corner, I have my snap grid set to one millimeter, meaning every time I hit the arrow key, it will move my object one millimeter. So if I move it to five millimeters and press left, you see it jumps a much larger distance. If I move it smaller to 0.1, you could see that it's barely moving at all. This helps us fine tune some of our designs where we can nudge it around. I'm going to set mine back to one millimeter. Now we're going to see how we can move around and change our view. So if I click the view cube in the upper left hand corner, I could adjust which view Tinkercad is showing me. So if I click and drag it, I could fine tune and find which spot I like. If I click on top or one of the arrows on the sides, it'll adjust to those views. Now, if you see, I have it highlighted on a corner. It will also do corner views. But let's say you don't like using the view cube. I can also move my work plane 
by right clicking, holding it down and dragging my mouse. So you guys can't see that I'm moving my mouse along my mouse pad to find which view I like. I can also use my scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out. If you don't have a scroll wheel, you could use the plus and the minus on the left hand side of the work plane or the plus and minus keys on your keyboard. Now there are a few other buttons on the left hand side underneath our view cube that can help us adjust our starting view. So I'm going to press home and that brought us out to the initial view that is created when we create our Tinkercad. Now I'm going to click my object and I'm going to click fit view to selected shapes or you could press the F key. That zoomed me in to the object that I was working on. So if I have more than one object and I click my home view, but I only want to work with one, I can select that object and press F and it'll bring me to that. Now I can right click and drag to whatever view I need. I'm going to click my home view again. And now you know how to move around in Tinkercad. After clicking the Tinkercad logo, your work should be saved on your dashboard, as you could see on my screen. Now we finish tutorial two. Mr. Russo is coming back for number three. Copy, duplicate, and group objects.